Let's simplify some of these expressions. So this first one is seven times the quantity s plus nine plus two s. So we can distribute the seven, because seven is times the entire quantity s plus nine. So it's, we want to distribute the seven, so it becomes seven times s, which is seven s, plus seven times nine, which is 63. And so that's this part right over here. And then we have the plus 2s, plus 2s. Well, if I have seven s's, if I have seven s's and I'm going to add another two s's to them, I'm going to have nine s's. So you add those two parts, you get nine s, and then you still have your plus 63. Let's do this one over here. Negative four minus the quantity q minus 10 plus five. So what I'm going to do here, so we can get rid of this these parentheses is distribute the negative sign. This is essentially multiplying both of these terms times negative one. You could view that there's a negative one out here. Then this part right over here becomes negative one times q, or negative times q. So it's negative q, negative q, and negative one times negative 10 is positive 10, plus 10. So that's that part right over there. And we still have this negative four out front and this plus five afterwards. So what can we do over here? So we can add all the non-q, the only q term here is this, negative q. So I'll just rewrite it over here, negative q. And then we have all of our constant terms. We have negative four plus 10 plus five. So negative four plus 10 is six, plus five is 11. Plus 11, negative q plus, and the rest of this adds up to 11. Let's do this one. All right, so we have negative seven times the quantity i plus two. So we can distribute the negative seven. So this is going to be equal to negative seven times i, which is negative seven i, plus negative seven times two, which is negative 14. Or we could write plus negative 14, or we could just write minus, we could just write minus 14. So that's this part right over here. And then we have negative two, so this is a negative two, times the quantity two plus i. So that's times two, and then that's times i. So negative two times two is negative four, so it's negative four. Negative two times positive i is negative two i. And now we can add the i terms. We have negative seven i, and we have negative two i. Negative seven i minus two i is negative nine i. Negative nine i. And then negative 14 minus four, those are our constant terms, that gives us negative 18. Negative 14 minus four is negative 18. And we are done.